Hey guys, welcome back to Drake Valley Outdoors. So after our last successful hunt, Kyle and I were super excited to get out and chase some more greenheads. So we headed out this last weekend. Whenever we got to the parking lot though, we realized it was not gonna be an easy morning. The entire area was iced over. So instead of dragging our sleds through the water like we usually do, we we're gonna have to drag them across land, through the woods, over a bunch of logs and through some really thick brush. So it took us about twice as long as it usually does to get out to our spot. And once we got there, we had to spend another two hours breaking open a hole in the ice big enough to set our decoys. We had to put in a lot of work to make this hunt go well, but it was definitely worth it. And it was definitely the most memorable hunt I've ever been on. So I hope you guys enjoy it. At this point, all of the ducks in the area were flying over and landing in some open water. So I had went about 200 yards away and was scaring them up and I ended up scaring them right over to Kyle. Alright, so we are sitting at two mallards right now. Kyle got this real pretty one earlier. I didn't get it on camera. I think he might have. I'll have to see. And then I just shot this one right here. He landed on the water and I shot him at pretty close range whenever he picked up and it really, really messed him up for what I would think. I mean, I've shot ducks that close before and not had it damage him like that. But So we're sitting at two mallards right now.
Alright, so Kyle just shot a duck and so far the biggest challenge today has been actually retrieving the ducks because the ice is thin enough that we can't walk across it but it's thick enough that it's a real pain. So he's out there trying to get that duck. Alright, so Kyle got back from getting his duck and two, three or more actually came in and I shot a double, so now we're sitting at five. Well, Kyle was taking a pee and we had a pretty good group come in and I shot one of the drakes out of the group and so I'm at my limit and now Kyle just has his two. He has two to fill his limit. But our problem is we got three ducks out there on the ice about 30 yards out there and we gotta try and figure out how to get them because the ice is too thin to walk on and really thick so it's hard to break the ice. So. We might be spending about an hour trying to get those three ducks whenever we're picking up. So I wanted to show you guys what we're going through right now to get these three ducks. So far we've had to break up all of this ice. All this ice right here. Slowly but surely making our way through. Kyle's over there using his gun as a hammer. He's shooting a few times also. But we're just about there now. All right, we got one of the ducks. Kyle's out there still working on the last two. And this mallard, the first one we got, it might be one of the prettiest mallard drakes I've ever shot. Oh. How's that Benelli working out as a hammer? All right, so this is how thick the ice is that we're dealing with right now. It's close to about two inches thick, and we tried to walk out on it, and it just started creaking, and I didn't want to fall in the water, especially because we're getting up above our waist right now, so I didn't want to be trying to fall through on that. But we're getting pretty close. They're just another 10, 15 feet. Well, I just went for a little swim trying to help Kyle get those last two ducks. So we're gonna go ahead and start picking up. He didn't get his last two ducks to fill his limit, but that's fine, we had a great day anyways. Um, I did wanna show you guys a little bit of the setup that we're running. Um, we broke out. Oh, it's probably 20 yards by 20 yards is all the bigger that this hole is. And we put some of the hot buys along the edge, some more of the hot buys over along this edge. And then some of our nicer decoys right in here close. Mojo right there. And then we had some these full body ducks that I have. And we put those along the ice. I've never put any uh, ducks like that along the ice, but it seemed to work pretty well today. All right, so after about an hour of breaking ice, we finally got to the three ducks. So we ended up with seven mallard drakes and one mallard hen. So we're gonna get out of here now. Kyle's still calling it something, but I don't think there's anything gonna come in. So we're gonna pick up and get out of here. It was a good day. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave it a like and subscribe so that you can see more of our hunts going forward in the future. We're definitely going to be having to figure out some different things in the next couple weeks because our area is locking up with ice really quick. So we're going to have to be finding some open water and figuring out where these mallards are going because the end of duck season is approaching very quickly. Hopefully we can also get on some geese in some fields, but our access to land right now is very limited and it just isn't really worth our time. Um, again, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a good day.